How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff with the iDownload blog. I was able to pick up a fifth generation iPod Touch just a few minutes ago, and folks, I'm gonna unbox it here for you. So let's pull it out of the Apple bag. There we go, there is the fifth generation iPod Touch. It of course has the larger display that the iPhone 5 has, that Retina display, which is four inches. And this is the 32 gigabyte black slate version. Comes in at $299, you can get a 64 gigabyte version for $399 if you choose to do so. So there it is folks, it looks very similar as far as the, the box and materials con are concerned. It looks very similar to previous versions of the iPod Touch in that regard, but this is a drastic departure as far as design goes of the actual hardware from previous versions as you're gonna see. So there's a little sticker, you just peel that off here. I'll just grab that and pull it back just like that and that comes off really easily. All right, that's all you have to do to get the box open. So the box opens just like that. You can pull up the iPod Touch and it has a sticker on top of it for protection and for display, of course. All right, and that's firmly mounted on that little plastic piece. So we'll just set that aside for the time being. Let's see what else is in the box here. Of course, we have our welcome kit. All right, and we also have our lightning cable, which is really nice to have, obviously. I need as many of those as possible with my iPhone 5. That's a $29 product right there, and here's the EarPods. Uh, that's a $29 product. Of course, this doesn't have the um, microphone, I don't believe. And here is the lanyard to connect to the iPod Touch itself. So this is the first time that an iPod Touch comes with a lanyard in a place where you can actually connect it to the, to the hardware itself, which is really cool. Uh, people who use their iPod Touch for a camera are gonna love that. Okay, so here's the actual hardware. Let's go ahead and peel that sticker off the front here if we can do that. And let's see, where is it? There it is at the bottom. So let's just pull up on this little sticker here. And it just slides up like that to reveal the screen. Just like that. Okay, we'll set that aside for now. Nice sticker, by the way. All right, so let's just pop it out of the case here. There we go. Wow, this thing is thin. <laughs> really, I mean, this thing is incredibly thin. Um, you thought the iPhone 5 was thin. This thing is super thin, let me tell you. And it feels good. This is some really premium hardware for the iPod Touch line. Um, this is the first for the iPod Touch. The previous hardware has always been subpar. The screen has been way subpar on uh, previous versions of the iPod Touch, fourth generation and below. But this one, man, wow. Apple really stepped their game up here. You have, of course, the camera, the power button here at the top. You have the rocker buttons on the side for the volume. On the bottom, you'll find the lightning cable, the uh, headphone jack, and of course, the speaker. Man, this is, this is some premium hardware right here, folks. If you get an iPod Touch, you're not gonna be disappointed, I'm telling you. In fact, let me grab my iPhone 5 here, and let me just put it side by side, just to give you a quick comparison. I'll have another comparison video later going more in depth, but here is the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch. All right, look at that side by side. Now you can really see that profile. It's the same length, but that width, man, the width on there is just drastically smaller for the iPod Touch. Wow, it's just, um, yeah, it's much smaller than uh, the iPhone 5. Now look at this little lanyard piece here. This is the connector for the lanyard for your camera strap. Um, this is really neat, the way they were able to pull this off. Now all this does, that little button right here presses down, if you press it down, it pops up so that you can actually connect the lanyard. And just push it down like that. See, see where it's depressed? And then you just let it rise up here, like that. So let me get it in focus, there we go. So press it down, press down again, and it reveals the connector for the lanyard. Let's just play with that a little bit, that's pretty cool. And since this camera included is no slouch, it's not an eight megapixel camera, it's a five megapixel camera, but it does shoot 1080p video. So I think we're gonna have a lot of people taking photos with their iPod Touch, and this little strap is gonna help. Let me just show you again how I place that on there. Just put it on like that and pull up, and that's it. You have almost like a, looks like just a standard point and shoot camera almost with that strap on there. But of course it is an iPod. So there's the strap connected 
to the little knob up close. What do you guys think about this? I mean, I'm telling you, it, it's this premium hardware. I know I've said that a couple of times already, but really, once you get it in hand, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and fire it up here. Let's see that screen. The screen looks good as well. I don't know if it's exactly on par with that of the iPhone 5, but it's really close. I haven't been able to test it out too much. I'm just looking at it for the first time myself, but man, it's close. So I'm really interested to hear what you guys think about the iPod Touch. Is it just like the redheaded stepchild of the iPhone, or do you think it's finally coming to its own now with this new revamp? I think it has. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.